Well, well. Lovebirds decided to join us. Enjoy yourselves? You heard the answer to that question, Lambert. Besides, not our business. Uh, Yen, we don't have glasses. You alright drinking from a mug? I'd drink from an old boot tonight. <sighs> Perhaps instead of getting crocked in deep glum, we could do some catching up. Where'd you go while you were away, Eskel? Aldersburg. Hunted a higher vampire. Oh ho ho. Dangerous horse sons, those. Finicky, too. The specimen in question only went for young women from the upper classes. That's like me. We've no interest in your fantasies, Lambert. Whereas the vampire, even I'm curious to know how you managed. My client threw a masquerade ball for the city's notables to lure the vampire out of hiding. I was there too, disguised. Let me tell you, never had so much success with the ladies as I did that night. Mixing work and romance? Bad idea. Vampire could have caught you with your pants down. Suppose so. But you look the way I do, you gotta grab every chance you can get. <laughs> Maybe you should wear a mask permanently. And maybe you should wear a gag. What about the vampire? I'd made a deal with this young alchemist. She really loaded up. Fish tech, vodka, magic mushrooms. Went out into the garden. Vampire found her and drank his fill. Fight was an afterthought. Hmm. A fairy tale on gluttony for modern times. Alchemist come out of it all right? Fine. Lost a bit of blood, I suppose. Hangover was the worst part. She drank nothing but pickle juice for the next month. What have you been up to, Lambert? Any interesting contracts before you set off in search of Keratin? Uh, yeah. Contract in Lan Exeter. Not to boast, but a pretty lucrative one. Yeah. Kavir's where the gold's to be made. Know how much they pay there for a drowner? Shush, I'm talking now. So this giant was giving him trouble. Attacking convoys, dragging folk off into the swamps. And relieving himself on the highway, rendering it dreadfully slippery. You've built enough suspense, get to the point. Fine. Turned out, it wasn't a giant. Just a fat forest troll, and a group of bandits were ambushing the convoys. What did you do? Killed the bandits to keep the road safe. Then I killed the troll. Needed its uh, head to collect the bounty. Pragmatic as ever. You could stand to show some of Lambert's expediency. Set ideals like justice for trolls aside, keep yourself out of poverty instead. Knew the sorceress would see it my way. Eventful times for me recently. Kings, dragons, conspiracies. And then, I found Yen. Yeah, we're thrilled for you. But why don't you tell us about Uma instead? <sighs> Long story. I was on Ciri's trail. Went to Velen, Skellige, Novigrad, where Dandelion needed saving again. He got caught plowing somebody he shouldn't have been. Right. Speaking of old friends, Novigrad and Plowing, how's Triss? Fuck off, Lambert. Whoa, hit us. So Lambert, not funny. Fine. Conversation turned serious. Let's talk. Yen, what do you plan to do with Uma? I said I'd tell you tomorrow. So tell us now. It's after midnight. I'll subject him to the trial of grasses, but only- You fucking what?! Mind your manners, Lambert. Did you hear what- Not gonna ask you again. Uh, sorry. Looking to turn him into a witcher? Of course not. As I was about to say, I'll only apply the first half of the trial, because- Because you want to watch him suffer? Stop interrupting, or I will watch you suffer. To restore Uma's former appearance, we must first... Hmm. How do I explain it? Imagine a lump of clay. In order to shape it, you must first moisten it or it will crumble. The trial's initial part does just that. It opens the body to change, so to speak. 
Only then can the mutagens produce a witcher. What are the chances Uma will survive? Not great, but we've no choice. Unless Vesemir can do the trick with his hemlock. Might be surprised. Old man knows his stuff. It'll be the first trial in years, decades. I knew you'd be wary. Wary? That's not the problem. Those secrets have been forgotten, and that's how they should stay. I'd be the last to suggest you start producing hordes of witches. You hardly need to. See, till now we had a great excuse not to take in apprentices. Seems we'll need to talk it over. Maybe later. Who's up for another round? Oh, I am. But we're all out of stuff to chew on. Geralt, mind raiding the kitchen? Not at all. Gentlemen, pleasure drinking with you. Lambert, especially. But the hour is late. Don't stay up long. Tomorrow's an important day. <laughs> Didn't listen, did he? They never do. What are you talking about? Sam Avila contract Esco got a while back. Good story. Finish it in a minute. First, some more fuel. Ooh, now that's a kick in the liver. What is it? The gauntlet. Equal parts spirit and white gull. What's that look about? Yen's gone to bed. Time for some serious drinking. Damn straight. Pour us another. Bottoms up. Come on, let's have some fun. Are we boring you? No, it's just kind of... Slow. Pretty boy's right. Listen, there's this game. Student from Oxenfurt taught. Hmm? Someone starts by saying, I've never. And finishing the sentence however they want. Who's ever done that thing, downs a shot. Then it's the next guy's turn. Sounds great. You start. I've never... Slept with a succubus. How about that? Esco, Esco. Still waters run deep. I'm a sucker for women with horns. Right, my turn. I've never, after a bender, woken up wearing nothing but my knickers. Geralt? Lambert's a lost cause, but you? What would Papa Vesemir say? I think Papa Vesemir would have drank that round too. All right, Geralt, your turn. I've never... Taken fish tech. Skull. Really? Once. With that succubus. Right. Man. Let's end on that. Or else I'll never be able to look you in the eyes again. <laughs> Colder and up a nice giant's ass in here. Gentlemen, I shall return. Gotta go drain the dragon.
You and Lambert get along? In a way. I've learned not to talk to him about certain things. Guessing that's quite a list. It is. Hello, youngins. Got your own little carnival going, eh? Alcohol, my good man, is a witcher's worst enemy. Where did you dig up that bonnet? Vesemir's trunk. The height of fashion in 1112. Old man probably put it on when he went courting. Or in the jargon of the time, wooing the damsels. Men, a witcher's life is not all cards and liquor. It is toil. It is labor. No gurgling babes to wean for us. Nay, not for us. All right. One Vesemir is enough. Take that off before you get it dirty. And pour. Oh, I'll pour, Eskel. I'll pour. To the brim. Because without vodka, you're as stiff as a bookkeeper in a body gag. So, watch this about a Samovilla? Snared this peasant in her dance. Instead of being happy, he escaped with his life. Yoko fell head over heels in love. Wanted me to trap her. Turned him down. So he tried it on his own with a fishing man. Bet you they're still dancing a mazurka in some fallow field. Great story. With a moral, too. Really? What's that? Stay away from dangerous women. Will you ever lay off Yen? Yeah. As soon as I trust her. You brave a fire for her. Whereas she plays you like a cheap fiddle. Way it's always been. Listen to you two goddamn relationship experts. Neither of you's been with a sorceress. For good reason. Fine. Leave pretty boy alone before he gets grumpy. Drink up, girl. To you and... Jackass, but I love you, brother. And sometimes you're a real blowhard. Damn. Broke. Good thing it was empty. Where's Esco? This is a job for Vesemir. Not again. Take that hat off. Where's that whippersnapper wandered off to? He could be beleaguered, I wager. Come, men, to the rescue! Spilled some wine, and crawled through it. Had to kneel down to see that? If I'd have bent over, I'd have puked. Chop, chop. Esco, you drunk! Get out here! Esco! 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 Let's go. Chop, chop. Hey. You hear that? It sounded like... panting. Of a wounded wyvern. Damn it. I think, he, I think he hurt himself. What's one scar more or less in his case? Makes no difference. Uh-huh. Eskel's close. Hang in there, brother. We're coming. Esco, you drunk! Get out here! Hey, look. 
There he is. With his ever faithful little bleeder. Hello, Esco. Wake up. Uh, what? Uh, what happened? Got sloshed, stewed, and 57 other varieties of drunk. That's what happened. Get up. Time to have a drink. Leave me alone. I'm gonna puke. Three of us get together, always ends like this. Let's find a fourth. Better. A woman. Nothing here but Yen. Mm -hmm. oh, we don't want to wake her up, believe me. What about that sorceress you talked to? Think about it. We turn on the megascope, cordially invite her, she teleports here. Maybe bring some friends. How's that sound? Lambert. You're a genius. Of course I am. So? We inviting the lodge to our bash? Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah! Summon the bitches! All right. How's this work? Well, a twist here, a turn there. And you gotta say something in Elvish. Easy peasy, let's do it. Hey, hang on. When this Ida sees us, we'll scare her off. I mean, we don't look anything like sorceresses. I know. Yennefer's clothes. Let's dress up. Bags are over there. What's this thing you got for dressing up? Shut it, wise ass, or I'll lace your corset up so tight you'll shit in your bloomers. Stop whining, Eskel. Times you gotta squeeze into some fr fr frippery. Uh, we don't tell a soul, understand? This stays here. Sure brought a lot of crap. You'd think she was moving in. Shh. You'll scare Geralt. Perfect. Like it was made for you. Sure. As soon as I let it out a bit in the waist. Stop talking. Get dressed. Not that one. Won't compliment your complexion. Damn, Eskel. You got an hourglass figure. And you're an ass. Come on, go. Things tight as hell. Now, I'll do the talking. You two fiddle with the crystals. Cadmill, blood dead one. Oh, this book is ever kidnapped in our spell. What is this? Who's that? So sorry. We were never here. God! Bull Piper, excellent shape! No, you oaf. The lodge, the lodge has come for me. <laughs> I trust you have an explanation for this. A very good one. Go to bed. Now.
See everyone's up and at him. <laughs> and reeking of booze. That hat was a memento, Lambert. Relax, old man. It'll come out in the wash. You can give the boys a wrap on the knuckles later. Let's get to work. Guess your gravestone and hemlock method didn't work. Not entirely, but I did learn something. While you were out hunting fork tails and playing with a megascope, I examined Uma. Notice one thing. At moments of, what's the term, relaxed consciousness, he behaves differently. While falling asleep, he'd pause awake for an instant. Something different about his movements, his gaze then, but only for a moment. So I induced a trance, hypnotized him, essentially. No effect at first, but as he dropped into deep lethargy, I heard something, a sigh or a moan, and it wasn't Uma's voice. All right, I just don't get how that helps us. Then keep silent. Thank you. And I apologize. What I said earlier. Have the boys told you what we plan to do? Yes. Don't like it one bit. And I suppose I have to trust you. Right. So what now? We can begin. We need only brew the potions. Wait. Why couldn't we... Do it earlier? Because the preparatory potions for the trial are strongly reactive. They must be administered immediately after they're brewed. Satisfied? Geralt, make the potions. Here are the formulae. Eskel, take a bottle of spirit. Uh, no. After last night, I... And disinfect the tools. Well, chop chop. You don't know who's trapped in Uma's body. How did you figure the proportions? Performed a series of complex calculations. Extrapolated some data. Ran simulations. Meaning, you guessed. Mm. Potions ready. Tools, too. Good. Vesemir? Hookweed extract to deaden the pain. I know, done this before. Eskel, make the incisions in his veins. Insert the tubes. Geralt, place the potion vials in the feeders. Ready. Open the valves. It doesn't matter in which order. Sent him into shock. Killed him. So, everything's going smoothly? No, but it's within no norms. Administer the next potion. Next potion. Do their work. Might take a day, might take more. 
You need only wait. True. But I must maintain the stabilizing spell. Uma's body is not nearly as resilient as a young candidate witches. Without this, he... Eskel, I'm sorry. Would you mind? Getting some rags? On it. Floor. No, a trial. If that's Syria there, she could come out of this crippled, wrong in the head, just emotionless. Thought about that? Of course I have. Thing is, we don't have a choice. Not anymore, we don't. But we rushed it. Should have started by. Gentlemen, the floor's as clean as it'll ever be, and I need to be wiped down as well. No offense, but I'd rather Geralt did it. Understood. I'd prefer that too. disintegrating from the inside. Once that's complete, we need to reform it, or you'll die. You witches were given mutagens. We will use spells. Do something to keep me awake. Pinching's apparently effective. Later, perhaps. For now, talk to me. Tell me a story. Heard about the time Siri and I went ice skating? No, not that I recall. The winter she trained here. A couple months in, she started complaining I was too harsh a teacher. Brushed it off at first. Then she asked me to go skating with her. Didn't really want to. I'd never been before. But she insisted. As soon as we hit the ice, she started skating circles around me, hollering, No, not like that. Footwork. One, then the other. Crossover. No, wrong. Break with the heel of your skate, not the toes. Needless to say, from then on... He's awake. It's time. Time to lift the curse. Prepare the phylactery.
Siri. The Isle of Mists. But it's not. She's not safe. The hunt. The hunt. What's it want from Siri? Her blood. Elder blood. To open the gate. We cannot. We cannot allow this. Isle of Mists, where is it? Everywhere. And nowhere. Listen, Sage. We didn't lift that curse to play riddles with you. Arwen. Arwen. Shram. In Skellige. Follow it into the mists. Hurry. Hurry. I tried to protect her, but the curse, the hunt, has not found the isle as yet. It is a matter of time. They will detect her at once. Enough, Geralt. He's not yet free of death's grip. Is he gonna make it? I can't... no. You saw. Not all went as planned. I lifted the curse, but... The trial has wrought havoc in his body. Violently twitching fingers, pupils that don't react to the light. Seen it many times before. Too many. Toxins have permanently damaged his nervous system. Even if he does pull through... Do you understand? I'm going to get Siri. Hold up. Don't you think you owe us some answers? How do you know this Avalok? What's Siri been doing with him? Yennefer can tell you. Just keep an eye on him. He's not a friend. Perhaps not, but Siri apparently trusted him. We should at least take his words seriously. You heard what he said. Take Siri from that Isle of Mists, and the hunt will pick up her trail immediately. What then? What's your suggestion? Siri can't flee forever. One day she'll stumble, and she won't get a second chance. Time we the hunted became the hunters. Geralt will find Siri and bring her here. And the hunt will fall. They'll expect to catch us by surprise, and they'll be sorely disappointed. We plan to fight them. We five? In a crumbling castle? Do we have a choice? Besides, the pretty boy could try to round up a few others who know how to swing a sword. Or wield magic. And you? What do you plan to do? I've Avalach to care for. He's certain to die without gentle gradual magic treatment. There's hope if I help him. Not much, but better than naught. The boys and I'll consider how we should greet our uninvited guests. Fine. I'll get Siri and recruit some allies. Bring everyone here. Got a few favors I can call in. Any good-looking women in that batch? Mm-hmm. Exclusively. All right. Time I was on my way. Good luck, Wolf. And give Cirilla our love. Come back quickly, Geralt. 